Uh, so welcome back guys and uh, on this tutorial I want to show you how to that you can um, as, uh, animate a character in Dust Studio and this is very simple like in Dust Studio you don't have to think a lot so I'm just going to show so I would like to first of all show you something here maybe I just come here and let me go to my products and let me just cross that one and then have this one so if i double click this one and i just say like yeah no i don't want to save so i have this character here which is related to later there on the dance so this is what you're going to use now and maybe i can just move this character back and like you see here on this small windows i can see the character that i have but I want us that you see this character on this um, animation window so good. So if you want to get st started with animation, what you just need to do, if you click here on the file, you have the animation folder, which they're not, or here. So you have the animation. So there are so many different kinds of animation. When you just put your figure, the, uh, your mouse there, it is start reviewing the kind of animation that you can use for your character. So, and also you have like this one, bowing, you have this one, dancing, you have crapping, you have a uh, character walking, character walking to the side and going away. So character doing some jump. So let's, let's take like this one. So if you just double click, this animation will be added here. And like you can see, they have the timeline. So if now I pray my timeline, my character is already animated and that's how you add like the character animation so um the other thing is that uh like you can see here we only have from 0 to 77 and here on the down here it shows us what the rate that we are having for our timeline so to change this one timeline you can just click here and maybe you say like you want like 200 frames yeah and now if you now you click you have now to pray 200 frame and now you can see here on 177 allowed somewhere here so let me just stop if you move your pray head you see this is where like your first frames at so if you just need to add something like dancing or walking you just double click and now when you pray your character will start now walking and now you have now to check where your frames at and like now we have then walk up to somewhere there and then you can see maybe you want to have up to 110 frames for your animation and now when now you play back you can jump and then your character can walk that's how simple is it is with doing animation in uh on the dust studio so uh there's also another way let me just start a new project don't save if you want to have some like you can also do like this so let me just go back to this one and i'll just like to uh, lead lead it to later so i can just take like this one again and now I'll show you another way of like we have this character here. Let's move this character a bit on the back. And now we want to do something like uh, we have some poses. If I click here, we have some poses. So if I want to animate, maybe I can say I want this pose. And let me just do, do undo. Maybe I can just move some frames and then I go to up to frame fives and maybe I choose that frame. When I move my mouse back, you see like uh, whatever I'm doing is for that five frames, which is five frames here. And then maybe I go to the frame 10 and maybe I take another like that one. So if I go back, Let me see let's go to the frame this one and then we have that one so now we have like two animation we have that one and the second one so if i go to frame 13 maybe i can take another pose and also animate it now if i let me just change this one to 15 frames 
And now when I play it, you see like my character is animated but doesn't look so good. So that's how you can also use this like to start doing your animation and doing so you can just come here to the pose and then you try to do some changes when you want like uh, you can just play with it and see what is just going to work for you good. And that's how you do the animation in the Unreal Engine. So for the next video, I'll show you like when you animate, how you can render your project and how you can make that your project uh, look so good and things you need to check on when you're just doing for the rendering. So thank you for watching this video and I'd like to thank you and hope to see you in my next video. Bye.